Hey guys, Raylines here and today I'll be showing you how to make your own YouTube video thumbnails for Fortnite gameplays in Photoshop just like ninjas. So to get started we're going to start off by going to the ninjas YouTube page and just uh, seeking a bit of inspiration and looking what all his thumbnails have in common. Bare the exception, most of his thumbnails follow the same kind of guidelines. So looking here you can see straight away that usually his gameplay thumbnails have a bit of white text followed by a bit of goldy yellow text beneath and then there's usually a character either on the left side or right side followed by the battle royale logo itself and then the background is usually very faded onto a colored overlay so we're going to create this in photoshop now to get started you'll need three images um, so i just grabbed these off google really quick so in google image first i searched fortnite landscape and there's a huge variety of landscapes to choose from i'm going to go with this one and um just remember, in the final product, you can barely even see the background, so it's not that important. Don't spend too much time looking. Then next, you'll need the Battle Royale logo itself, which uh, Ninja places in all of his thumbnails. So I searched Fortnite logo PNG, and it's probably going to be the first one that shows up. Um, PNG allows the background to be transparent, so you can just um, pop it right onto your image, and you don't have to go removing any of the backgrounds. And last but not least, Fortnite characters. So um, I searched Fortnite character PNG and I've chose a character from random to use in this tutorial. So you can use whichever one you'd like. There's a huge range of them to choose from. So once you've those images selected and downloaded, we're going to jump into Photoshop. To start off, go File and New and we're going to start a new, we're going to open up a new um, canvas. So I'm going to do 1280 by 720 and click OK. Now we're going to go over to the gradient tool over here. And we're going to start off by selecting a kind of a kind of a light blue. Now you can use whatever color scheme you'd like, but for the purpose of this, I'm going to use a blue because the character I chose to have in my image is wearing a lot of blue clothing. And if you look back at Ninja's work, you can see that he usually matches the character with the background. So I'm going to start with a nice faint blue and then we're going to click OK. And then that's for the foreground color. For the background color, we're just going to go with roughly the same blue, but in a darker shade. So we're going to drag that down. And this will look nice then. So up here, top left, you can make sure you've radial selected. And then go to around the center of your image. And now we're just going to click and drag it out to a corner. And this just gives it a nice um, kind of radiating effect, which is nice just for the background. So once you've that, just double click on your background over here in the layers tab and just click OK. So that just unlocks the uh, background layer. So now we're going to bring in our background image. So go file and open. And here I have the three images saved into a folder, so I'm going to select the landscape. And this will open in a new tab in Photoshop, so we're just going to use the selection tool, click the tab, drag it down, and then drag the image across onto your um, the canvas you're currently working on. And then we can just close that down. So now, once your image is here, if it's not the right size like mine is here, you can just hold Ctrl and T, and uh, this will allow you to resize the image. Now holding Shift will allow you to resize the image without distorting the ratio. Um, so hold shift while you click and drag and now it's the right size so I'm going to hit enter and that's alright. So once we've that done we want to kind of make the, uh, the, the background blend in with the blue colour. So we're just going to go up here to where it says normal and there's a huge selection of options you can choose from. And uh, you usually you have to go through a few of these but I found for this one in particular soft light works nicely. And then maybe I turn, turn down the opacity just to around 60. And as you can see, that's looking nice. It's faint, it's not too loud as we're gonna have text and images over this and we don't want it to um, overwhelm the, the viewer. So now we have our background set already. So we're gonna go in and move our character in next. So we're gonna go File, Open, and we're gonna drag our character in. So we're uh, gonna open that up in another tab and bring it down here and repeat the process. So we're gonna exit out of this. Now, you can choose how big you want your character to be, but uh, Ninja us usually goes fairly big with these. So I'm going to control and T and I'm going to stretch them out nice and big. So once you get that out, and we're going to put them over here in the corner. Um, uh, maybe I'll make them about this. We can play around in a little bit. And I think that looks okay. So I'm going to hit enter and I'm happy with that. Okay, so now we're already making great progress. You can see how it's come together. So now we're going to do the text. So the text, we're going to um, use the text tool, obviously. Now, font-wise, you don't really need to have the exact font he's using. I'm going to use a font that's the actual Fortnite text font that they use for the Fortnite logo. But this is all optional. Any font that's kind of bubbly and quirky looking will do. So it's not that um, big of a deal. So the font I'll be using is called Burbank Big Condensed. But you can play around with this yourself. So once you're happy with that, I'm going to click here and I'm going to write out 
Um, I'm gonna actually make the thumbnail for this video itself. So uh, Inception right there. So ninjas, um, ninjas Fortnite. Uh, we're just gonna put that here. And we're just going to save time, we're just going to edit one line of text and then duplicate it. So once we're happy with that, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. So I'm going to make it maybe a uh, 100 and, uh, I don't know, 104, not too big, 130, 120. I think I'm going to go 122. So now I'm happy with that. So what you want to do now is just position it. So I like it around there. Okay. And now we're going to go over here and once you've the text there selected, we're going to go down to effects and drop shadow. Now with drop shadow, we're going to put the opacity down to about 55 and distance is good, okay? Spread should go up to maybe about uh, uh, 10, 9 or 10. And then size, just make that nice and wide. So we're just going to make it about 30. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Click OK. And now we're just going to duplicate this layer. So we're going to click it, drag it down to this uh, folded page icon and this will duplicate the layer. Now we're just going to use the selection tool and we're going to move this down here. And we're going to change what it says. So using the text tool again, we're going to click it and highlight it. Now we're going to write um, thumbnail, uh, oops, thumbnail tutorial. And as you can see, it's a bit bigger than the top text. So looking at Ninja's um, thumbnails, you can see that if they encounter this issue where one line is bigger than the other, they do simply just make uh, the, t the font size smaller so we're gonna go O2 yeah that fits actually quite nicely so we're gonna use this so now as you can see um, from his ones the top lines white and the bottom lines usually a golden kind of a golden yellow so we're gonna go in here to the colored uh, palette we're gonna go down here and we're just gonna select a nice golden yellow it's usually a bit more orange than that so we're gonna click OK there how does that look yeah I'm liking the look of that so we're just gonna position it a bit more again and yeah, I think that's okay. So now we have the text in and we're going to go for... Now, at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to show you a little trick you may have missed from looking at his thumbnails and it really brings together the whole thumbnail and makes it look authentic, ninja-style thumbnail. So uh, if you didn't notice, there's actually something he does with his that just adds that extra ninja look to it. So first, we're just going to bring in the Battle Royale logo. So you've done it loads of times already. You just bring in the image, drag it down and drag it across. And now it's in here. So we're just going to close that up and we're just going to position it kind of centered below the text control and T and we're just going to resize that so now we've actually pretty much made it here but there's just a little thing that you may not have noticed in uh, ninja's thumbnails and if I go back here around the edges he has these little triangular spikes coming in and it really brings the whole thing together so I'm going to add that in here so it's really simple using the pen tool we're just going to map out a little triangle ourselves doesn't have to be perfect just a, a little spike of some sort and we want it nice and pointy so that's a nice one okay so we're going to select that right click and make selection and just click OK now we're going to make a new layer for this and we're going to fill it in white so using the brush tool we're going to go down here to our color palette and select white and we're going to fill that in and then select and deselect now we've our little uh, white triangle we're gonna bring the opacity down to about 66 67 we'll go we'll go 65 it's fine it's not that important really and uh, using the moving tool we're gonna move it around so we're gonna control and T again and then go outside of the box and you can rotate at each corner so usually these are all kind of edging in towards the center of the screen so we're gonna throw them in just like he has them so once we're happy with one of them we're going to click and drag the layer down to make another and now we're just going to control and T rotate a little bit more and reposition it and we're just going to do this around the image and I think that looks okay so I'm happy with that so now a nice trick to see if it's all come together the way you wanted it is hold control and alt and use your scroll on your mouse to scroll out now what's important about thumbnails is scroll out fairly far I'd say about here is the, 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 the average size of a YouTube thumbnail and just ask yourself is everything visible and is everything the way you want it to be positioned on the thumbnail. So I think that came together well, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Um, I'll be doing a lot of tutorials similar to this so if you like this tutorial feel free to hit the subscribe button below and hit that bell so you're notified when I do upload a video. And other than that, uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that, thanks for watching.